Hello everybody, my name is Rupert Gowell, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build version 2 of my Russian Roulette game engine. Alright, so really quickly I want to show you the first version. I made a tutorial on how to build this thing here. Uh, I'll leave a link to that tutorial down below in the description so you can go check it out. But basically what you do is you input power to here. Uh, that rolls two dice, checks to see if they're the same, and if it does, it outputs a signal over here. That's just the basic rundown of that, so let's go ahead, let's give it a test. So as you saw, they were not the same, and so it didn't output a signal. So uh, kind of the idea was that it was a fancier way to do something that uh, is usually done very much simpler, but I wanted to do it in a much more impressive way. And that worked out. But it, yeah, it ended up very, being very big, and it requires shulker boxes. It's just kind of an end game thing, and it's, it's just kind of expensive. I mean, look at all this. So I decided to go back to, to the drawing board and design a new version, and that is this version right here. Uh, so as you can see, it is um, it is very much smaller, um, very much more compact, much less wasted space. Um, Here's just yeah, a couple other variations. This is that. I'll show you how to build this in just a second. But really quickly, just want to give you a quick rundown. So basically, you have your input here, your output up here. Uh, so you go through. It comes here to this dispenser, which has a bunch of items and also uh, flint and steel in it. Uh, of course, there's a 1 in 6 chance of each thing coming out. So if it's just an item, it comes into here. gets picked up by the hopper mine chart hopper mine cart inside of the sand goes into this hopper and then comes down into this dropper where on the next go around it will get popped up into here which is why we have full stacks of stuff in here uh, if it is a flint and steel it'll light this area here on fire which will cause this obser the observer here to activate these pistons pull this down to activate these pistons pull this down and then we'll get a signal here turning off this redstone torch um, and that, uh, then it'll also uh, push down this piston here, which will break the fire, and it'll reset everything. Now, if we get that on both of these sides here, uh, both of these sides are the pretty much the same thing, uh, then we will get our output into here. Uh, then also we have here, this is a flint and steel restock, because they only have 64 uses, so you're going to go through these pretty quickly. So yeah, it's got an auto restocker, you could put a hopper on top of this with a chest with a bunch of stuff, but I decided not to put that into the actual design. So yeah, let me just go ahead, pop into another world, and I'll show you how to build this. Alright, so if you didn't understand that explanation, don't worry, I'll try to explain it better at the end of this video. I'll also leave a world download for this world here once we've built the machine in the description down below so you can take a look at it. Uh, but here in this chest, we've got all of the supplies you'll need. Uh, here's just all of these. The slabs are actually interchangeable for solid blocks. So you can use solid blocks if you don't want to use slabs for some reason. Uh, but I'll go ahead and use the slabs just so you know where those do and don't go. Uh, then also you're going to need a whole bunch of stacks of materials. You're going to need a whole lot of flint and steel. You're going to need a lot more materials just like that. I'll show you where all these things go and how much you're going to need uh, later in the video. But yeah, right now, let's go ahead, let's crack on with this tutorial. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to come right here, we're going to come up three blocks just like this. Then we're going to, on these second blocks, put down slabs. We can go ahead and break all these, these are just structure um, scaffolding blocks. Uh, then we're going to come back two more blocks just like that uh, with these slabs. Uh, we're going to put two pieces of redstone on these blocks here. Uh, two repeaters set to four ticks just uh, off those redstones. Then we're going to come right down here, put down two blocks just like that with redstone on top of them, and then two blocks on top of those ones. All right, just like that. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to take our droppers facing upwards, two of them, and then we're going to put two more facing upwards, and then we're going to have droppers facing outwards just like this. Then we're going to have hoppers facing into the bottom of these, just like that. Uh, next, we're going to take powered rails. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that they're going off in these ways right here. Um, 
Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take this. Here, really quickly, let me grab my sand. Uh, you're just going to want to go ahead and just nudge it ever so much off to the side. Here, let's nudge it back just a little bit. And that's just so that they don't interfere with each other. Oh yeah, then you're going to need to break that rail just like that. Then we're going to go ahead we're going to put our other one down just like that. Go ahead and break the rail. Put down our sand. Alright, just like that. Awesome. Uh, next, we're going to come actually right back over to here. Uh, we're going to come up two blocks and we can... Oh wait, we need that. So we need to put these slabs behind right there. Go ahead and break those now. Uh, next, we're going to put down our repeaters just like that. All right, and now, uh, really quickly, let me swap out some of these materials. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. So we're going to need hoppers on top of these two dispensers, just like that. Going to go ahead, pull that out. All right, so now we're going to need um, a lot of observers and sticky pistons and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take our regular pistons. We're actually going to put them facing downwards right on these hoppers, just like that. Perfect. Uh, next, we're going to take two blocks just like this. And we're going to face observers into them, and then we can just go ahead and break those. Uh, next, going to go ahead and put two sticky pistons facing upwards, just like that. Um, then we're going to put two blocks on top of them. Then going to put two observers on top of there. We can break these blocks now. Uh, we're going to put two blocks on top of those two observers there. We're going to put two upwards facing sticky pistons on top of those blocks. Then we're going to put two more structure blocks on top of those pistons. Observers facing in that direction. Just go ahead and do it like that. Uh, next, we're going to take our slabs. We're going to put them right on those sticky pistons. Then we're going to take uh, repeaters coming off of those, set those to two ticks, just like that. Then we're going to come up one block for those repeaters, stick them just like that. We'll make a little two by two grid there. Uh, we're going to take our redstone torches, put two redstone torches there just like that. We're going to come off like that. Uh, next we're going to come down one, put a slab there, break that block. Um, Oh, nope, that's not it. Sorry. You're going to put two slabs right behind those repeaters with redstone dust on top of them. And then repeaters right on top of there, just like that. All right. Uh, next, here really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and push this back that way just a little bit. I'm trying to balance these out. When I built this in my test world, I didn't have this problem because of how they were oriented, which is an interesting thing as well. You might not have this issue here where they're sticking out. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put uh, slabs right on this middle dropper there. Ooh, yeah, see, this is where this comes in. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a, a piston facing downwards just like this with a slab just like that. And here we'll come off just a couple blocks. Boom, push it down. And we're good, just like that. All right, so that's what you do if you do have that glitch right there. Uh, next, we're going to take our comparators. We're going to have one coming off of this dropper right here. Set it to subtract. Next, we're going to have another dropper right there. Uh, we can go ahead, we can put these away. We're going to grab another dropper right here. We're going to put it right on the back of it right here. And then you're going to go ahead and fill it up with five stacks of really any material you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, next, we're going to come up a block just like that and put another block on top of the comparator right there. We're going to put a redstone torch. Actually, you don't need that there. Sorry. Um, Wow, I understand my build so well. Alright, so instead, you're going to actually place a dropper facing into this hopper. This is for restocking the flints and steels. 
which we'll go over in just a little bit here. Uh, next, we're going to come over to this side and we're just going to copy the exact same thing pretty much. So just go ahead, drop a uh, comparator, sub to subtract, another comparator going into it, a dropper, come in like that. We'll go ahead, this is going to be any stackable material, just like that. Going to come up a block, redstone torch, and going to then come around, put the dropper right in there like that. And that is this build actually pretty much finished right here. So now we just need to stock in all the items and I will show you what you need to put in right now. All right, so to stock up these hoppers, you're gonna come, this dispenser, sorry, right? You're gonna come right back here. You're gonna grab uh, five stacks of any individual random materials here. So we've got stock, we've got stone, granite, polished granite, diorite, and polished diorite. Um, you could probably get away with two or three items in here, but we're just gonna go ahead and use full stacks uh, just to minimize any possible breaking. And really, you can use some pretty cheap materials here. Um, and they can be the same in both things. Then we're going to put one flint and steel into there. Then we're going to come into this dropper here for reef stocking the flint and steel. And we're just going to go ahead, fill it up just like that. You could also put a, a hopper right here and put a chest on top of it. And you could build a whole storage system for these flint and steels if you wanted to make sure that it never ever ran out. Uh, but this is good for now. Next, we're going to come over to this side. And we're going to do just the same thing. Again, you could use the same materials. Doesn't really matter. In fact, I would recommend using the same material just in case it uh, someone manages to bleed over into the wrong one. All right, so fill this up. And as you probably saw, this redstone torch went off because we had everything in here. So if we were to pull out this flint and steel, actually, yep, we get one flint and steel from this dropper into there. Uh, next, really quickly, uh, so yeah, that is actually this machine done. So really quickly, I just want to show you that it does indeed work. So we're going to just go ahead and take a button, put it on either one of these two input uh, blocks right here. All right, so as you saw there, we didn't get any fire. If we go ahead here, let's put it over here. Let's do it a few more times. See if we can get some fire going. Are you going to work for me, please, please? I promise this works. See, just like that. So as you saw, we got this redstone torch to go off, but it didn't power both of these. So yeah, it didn't go off. So yeah, that is how to build this. Now I'm gonna go through a, just a quick, hopefully better explanation of how this whole machine works. All right, so if we take a look here, so this is the input block. You could have a repeater, you could have a button, you could have some sort of anything really going into here. Uh, then we have these redstone here, which basically just links up these two parts of the machine here. Uh, so yeah, we have these two uh, repeaters set to four ticks. This is to minimize breaking um, amount because it um, extends the pulse also to four ticks, which is uh, great if you're you know spamming this button. See, it doesn't ever actually unpower. So if you're, yeah, you can, it's very, it just helps stop breaking it. Uh, then we've got this redstone here. We've got all these droppers here. So what this does is it powers this bottom, uh, po this bottom dropper, this middle dropper, and to this dispenser all at the same time. And that takes the one that was in this bottom dropper, if there was one, all the way up to this dispenser and fires out a random item is why you need multiple of an item so you'll always have six different things in here. Um, next over here, so we've got our pickup system here. So uh, yeah, if you, yeah, so as a item comes out, it immediately gets picked up by the those uh, minecart hoppers. So you don't have to worry about them sitting around really despawning or anything like that, which is great. Uh, but if it is a flint and steel, it'll of course light the block right in front. Uh, that activates this uh, observer here. Uh, so that causes this piston to fire. That brings this observer down, which powers this block here, uh, which does two things. One, it pushes this uh, piston down, which stops the fire, so you don't have to worry about things. By the way, you should definitely build this out of non-flammable blocks because 
there is a very small chance that it could burn down, which would be very bad. Uh, but yeah, so then it, the other thing it does is it powers this piston here, which pulls down this observer, and uh, that of course powers this repeater here, which powers this, and if you get them both, then of course it all um, it unpowers these two redstone torches. In fact, let's simulate that real quick here. Let's break these two. So as you saw just there, we got, yeah, they both came off. Well, I guess, yeah. So they both came off, and that meant that we got power to here into our input blocks. Uh, and then, of course, this going down reactivates the, this observer, which pushes this ob these observers back up. And that causes this piston to fire once again, which pushes the observer back up into its proper position. And that is the machine reset. And then here, uh, we have the uh, five stacks of material. This is so that uh, when the flint and steel were, if the flint and steel breaks, like when it breaks, actually, uh, you will no longer get an output from this uh, comparator here. That causes this redstone torch to activate and, of course, drops out another flint and steel into this hopper. And yeah, then you get your machine fully ready to go. Uh, so yeah, that is this machine hopefully much better explained. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you did like this video, please do leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that awesome stuff. Uh, feel free to download the world uh, and check it out. But yeah, that is all for me. Goodbye and excelsior.